Hey guys, it's with DroidMonterX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to root the Galaxy Note 3. Now this is the Verizon variant, and yesterday a root method was released for the Verizon variant by Design Gears, but his method also works on several other devices, so I'll be sure to include links in the description to his threads uh, for the different devices that he has root for. Now one thing that's awesome about his root method is that it doesn't touch the Knox security, so uh, you guys will probably know by now that Knox is kind of like an e-fuse on the Note 3. If you modify your device in any way, if you try to unlock the bootloader or a previous root method by chain fire would trip the Knox security. Uh, when that e-fuse has been tripped, if you try to send it off for warranty, they are instructed not to repair your device. Even if it's a hardware issue and not a software issue, uh, we all know that rooting your phone has nothing to do with a power button going out or a speaker going out, but they've been instructed not to touch the phone to send it back if the Knox security has been tripped. So the awesome thing about Design Gear's root method is that it does not trip Knox. So we'll go ahead and get started with the root guide. When you head to the main link in the description here, you're going to get a link to this download here. This is the Root de la Vega WinRAR. When you unzip it, you're going to have a few files that pop up. You're going to get this Root de la Vega tar.md5. This is what we're going to flash in Odin. You'll get the Odin, and then you'll get this Root de la Vega zip. When you unzip that, you'll get the Root files and the Root de la Vega.sh. These are what we're going to flash. These two uh, we'll put on the SD card on our phone, and then uh, we'll flash this one in Odin. So before we get started, make sure that you do remove your external SD card if you have one. The phone doesn't come with one, so if you're not putting one in there, uh, there is not one in there already. The next thing that we'll do is boot our phone into download mode. So to enter download mode, we're going to pull out the cable. We're going to power down the device. When we're all powered down, we're going to hit volume down plus home and power. Okay, and then we'll hit volume up to continue into download mode. Okay, so once we're in download mode, we'll go ahead and plug our phone into the USB cable, and we'll open up Odin 3 version 3.0.9. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up in the AP spot here, We'll grab this root de la vega tar dot md5. Okay, so before we flash the file, we want to make sure that our device drivers are installed. On Windows, it's super easy. If you don't see your device show up here, you should have something in this box here. If you don't see anything there, it means the drivers are not installed. So the easiest way to install the drivers on Windows would be to unplug the USB cable, plug it back in. Windows will automatically begin searching for the drivers after maybe five minutes. The drivers will be installed and you'll see your device pop up there. Uh, so once the file is loaded here, uh, we'll make sure not to change anything else here. And also before we get started, I just want to mention that this will wipe your device. So uh, be sure that you back up any files that you want to restore later on because it will totally clean your device. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll just hit the start button and give it just a few minutes to install. Once it's installed, we want to make sure that we allow our phone to do a complete reboot. As it's flashing, you'll see the progress bar uh, on your device. So when it's finished, you'll see reset and it's going to reboot your device. So just make sure that you let it reboot fully before uh, you proceed. This reboot may take a while, just keep in mind that this is wiping the system on your phone. It's wiping all your data, so it may take just a few minutes. Don't freak out if it is taking a long time. You know, give it at least 5 minutes up to 15 minutes to fully reboot. Okay, once you see pass and you have fully rebooted your phone here, then we can kind of move forward. So all we have to do now is move some files over to the internal SD card in our phone and we'll find our device we'll go into the SD card here and we will just drag and drop these two files onto the root of the SD card so make sure that they don't fall into any of the other uh, folders here so we've got our root files folder there and then the root de la vega like I said just make sure it doesn't fall into any of the other folders 
When that's finished, we'll reboot our device. Okay, so once the phone has completely rebooted, we will uh, go ahead and open the SD card on the phone again, and we will just remove the root files folder. And remove the root de la vega dot sh from the phone. Okay, and then it's very important that we go ahead and reboot again. Okay, once the phone is all booted back up, we'll download a root checker application and check for a root on our Galaxy Note 3. Okay, so we'll go ahead and download root checker. One thing that I noticed earlier is that we do have the Super SU app by Chainfire is already installed after running the exploit. So as you can see in the app drawer, Super SU is there. We'll go ahead and check out Root Checker and make sure that we're rooted. And there it is asking for root permissions. So we know that we are officially rooted on the Galaxy Note 3. Once again, big shout outs to Design Gears for the root method that does not trip Knox security. Big shout outs to Chainfire for the original root method on the Galaxy Note 3. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Note 3 and other devices. Lots of ROM reviews and other videos like that I'm sure are coming quickly on the Galaxy Note 3, so you want to be sure that you are subscribed to this channel. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.